today I'm gonna try to get my life together, sort of, and I'll be bringing you along with me. It's already 11 a.m. so we're off to a not so fresh start, but that's okay because we still have a whole day ahead of us. So first things first, we're gonna be doing what any other person who has their shit together does, and that's eating healthy. So I've been hopping back and forth between eggs and oats. Some days the uh, thought of eggs repulse me. Other days I'm like, if I had my last meal, a good omelet will be it. But today is one of those repulsive days, so I'm gonna make oats. Not gonna lie, making oats kind of makes me nervous sometimes because I'm always worried that I'm either undercooking them or, well, you can't really overcook them. Well, you can, but not really. So I'm always worried that I'm undercooking them and I can't tell when they're fully cooked. I just eyeball it and hope for the best. He thinks that by looking at me, I'm gonna give him food. Like imagine if humans did that to each other. Well, they kind of do. Now that I think about it. Okay, so a very important part of my oats is putting protein in it. So I just do one scoop of this. Okay, so then I add some blueberries and some almonds and some peanut butter. Um, how did this turn into a cooking video? I forgot to make coffee. Dumbass. Coffee's being made, so I grab my mug. The R stands for rise and shine. And there we have it. Does anybody else put peanut butter on the side instead of on top of the peanut butter so they can just scoop out the peanut butter along with the oats so that you know that you're having peanut butter in each bite that you have? Or do I need help? I also love eating my breakfast outside because there is a bug. That calm, peaceful feeling of being outdoors really sets the mood for the rest of the day. Unless you're someone like me because once the sun starts to set, my anxiety starts to rise and that calm, peaceful feeling um, just disintegrates. Right, Louis? So I have a hard time focusing on one thing and I didn't think it was that apparent until one day my mom comes into my bedroom. She's like, hey, I got something for you. She got me focus vitamins. In that moment, I was like, oh my god, is it really that obvious? I went on google.com and I did my research on how to not unfocus and it said that you should read, so now I read. This is a book I've been reading. It's called Mindwise. Why we misunderstand what, the, what others think, believe, and want, feel, and want, and it kind of just like calls you out on you thinking that you know what someone else is thinking, but you really don't. That's just your ego talking, and it teaches you how to put yourself in someone else's shoes and really see things from their perspective, not your own perspective that you made up in your mind. I feel like a staple for people who have their life together is to get a workout in. I'm gonna pull up a 30 minute yoga routine or something like that. What do you call it? A yoga? Yoga? Yeah, that. As you can see, Louis has already started his yoga session. Okay, so now it's my turn. important stuff that I really need to get done and that's getting my car oil changed. I've been procrastinating for about a month now and I think about it every day and every time I drive I think about how my car oil isn't changed and how at any moment anytime my car can just stop working in the middle of the highway. I think that's what happens when you don't get your car oil changed. I think it's just on fire. Anyways, we're gonna get that done first. I just wanna get it over with. Number two, I had to clean my room, and number three, I had to get my nails done. Which is another thing I've been procrastinating because I waited too long to wait get my nails done that now they look disgusting and I'm almost too embarrassed to even go in there and be like, hey, can I get my nails done? And then they're like, oh my god, you need more than just your nails done. You need a whole hand replacement because I have like the ugliest hands in the world. But usually having my nails done kind of like makes up for it. Yeah, here's to never being a hand model. Okay, so I think that's it. Did I say I'm gonna clean my room yet? I'm gonna clean my room. But before we do anything, I'm gonna get some food. I was gonna cook something, but, but I forgot to defrost my chicken. When you are all out of work what is there to say? I have procrastinated getting this oil change done long enough and I think it's time that we get this over with so I can continue living my life as I should. By the way, that's not a booger, that's just dry skin, I promise. They literally closed. 
they closed. This just means I have to wait a whole nother day to do this and think about this for a whole nother day. Good morning! It's a brand new fresh day. Yesterday didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to but that's okay because there's always a tomorrow and today is that tomorrow so now I'm on my way to get my oil changed and uh, finally get that over with. So let's, so let's go do that. So I've got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is um, the place is closed again. I'm convinced that the place where I usually go to get my oil change has um, shut down. Or maybe I just have really bad timing. You guys want to see something really funny? So let me give you context first. My family and I have been going to the same place to get our oil change for the past... since I was 5 years old, okay? I'm 22 now, so you do the math. I thought it was really weird that the two times that I go to this place, they were closed. So I did my research and lo and behold, they're permanently closed. Like when did this happen? And why didn't they tell me? And why couldn't they wait until... Why am I blurry? Why couldn't they wait until... I at least went to get my oil changed? Because I had to look for another place. Anyways, how's your day going? I hope it's going great. The good news is that I'm finally gonna go get my nails done. So I have to be at my appointment in like 15 minutes. And it takes 15 minutes to get there. So I'm gonna start heading out right now. I'm so excited. Guys, look at how cute these are. It's not focusing. Okay, now it's focused. They are so... There's, so, there's people behind me. I am very, very happy and satisfied right now. I don't know what to expect, but I'm happy. I am very happy. Oh, and I got coffee. And it's like almost 8 p.m. and I really shouldn't be drinking, but sometimes you gotta make sacrifices for the things that you love. Anyways, I was gonna shoot video, a video in there, but uh, I, I only got one shot. Hi guys, it's me two hours later. I'm still obsessed with my nails. I just feel so put together. Like my life could be in shambles right now, but then I look down on my hands and I'm just like, okay, it could be worse. I still have to clean my room. So here's a transition of me cleaning my room that nobody asked for. Don't you hate it when you leave coffee traces on your $1 million desk that you never use? Yeah. Just take a Clorox wipe. Swipe once, and it's all gone. Okay, maybe twice. Did your shoe just come out the closet again? Not again. I don't have a solution for that. You just have to accept it when it comes out. Are you tired of your dog taking up your entire bed space? Just throw it out. We all have it, and don't like to admit it. Chlamydia. Chlamydia. Okay, who wrote this? That was supposed to say chair. The chair. I've been using Curology for about a month now and it's actually kind of funny how it happened. I was scrolling through Facebook one night and I'm assuming that my FBI agent on my phone saw how I was breaking out. So he kindly put up a ad for Curology with no hesitation and I was about to click on it and buy some until I thought about how stressed out I was about how my bank account was just depleting. So I went ahead and bought it because I was like, well stress usually leads me to more acne, so at least Curology can take care of my acne and then I can deal with the financial situation later. I've been really good at keeping out with journaling lately because every time I get anxiety, I just grab this open price notebook from Target and start writing my thoughts down. And well, since I've been getting anxiety like every single night, it makes it easy for me to not forget. And literally, I don't know what it is, but every time I write down my thoughts and everything that's going on when I'm having anxiety, I just feel so much better. It's like having a therapist. 
Like the kind that just sits there and listens to you and doesn't really say much and then at the end of the session, the only thing they really know what to say is that'll be $200 and when do you want your next section to be?